As long as we tolerate um, this um, um, uh, uh, threat, which uh, they may have different branches, but they are in essence one and the same, these things will affect both countries. This has been really our position for many, many years. Now, uh, the second thing I would say is that on that one as well, um, again, uh, accepting the criticism of many of his own fellow Afghans, President Ghani has taken a big, um, um, uh, a courageous step. He ordered, uh, with our limited resources, while we were also engaged in a big battle against the Taliban in Helmand, in Sangin, he ordered the operations in Kunar. Uh, just within weeks of the, uh, of the attack in Peshawar, the people who were responsible for the Peshawar attack were arrested. Three of them. And, and imagine, I mean, we are doing this with, very, with a very, very limited means. The United States and NATO are no longer uh, in, that, in the capacity of actually helping us operationally. They have taken the back seat. So we are um, doing that with our own Afghan means. This has to mean something. Going back to what the point that was earlier made about us being, or some of us being just behind times, I think what, what's really the situation is that we together, all of us in this region are behind time. The world is changing fast. New threats are coming up. And, and it's actually really a big shame for us Afghans and Pakistanis to be really talking about a very, very basic necessity that should be resolved between us. And that is whether terrorism is a friend or an enemy or whether we should fight against it. This should have been resolved. All right.